So yeah, I love the Oracle pick. So they do swap things up. Yeah, notice position three bounty hunter. So they're going to have that fortune happy. Going to have his work cut out for him. To try and safeguard the Kami Templar. Yeah, this lane should become easier when TA starts getting a few levels here in Refraction. But in the very start of the lane, Pugna is uh, the one kind of carrying here. And he's going for the blood grenades. I try to kill off Sayush. Oh, the salve of the tower. Not enough. And a kill on the other side lane as well. Cloud brought down FNG. FNG does the same job down bottom. There, six minutes in, we're going to have new bounty runes, then wisdom runes in a minute after that. And Sayush, yeah, he goes and grabs the bounty rune, trying to scout out what's happening in the jungle. Both Happy and Warwick are there to kill him off and guard the stacks. Not just the fact that uh, no, they're there, but the information. And maybe Techies, yeah, FNG and Sayush back into action in the mid lane. Some deeper ward there, trying to scout things out. And the coil to start things off. Squadix has the backup with a blast off. Well placed by Sayosh into the middle of two of them. But Warwick, tanky enough to turn and fight into FNG. Spends all his mana. Sayosh and FNG dead. Squadix can't even get a single kill. Lil finally dies. And Warwick selling back up. So that ends up staying alive. Super early level three Netherward. Took so oh. much damage. Uh, oh, carefully. Squadix. Illusory Jaunt over to the left, but in comes Warwick. The coil is dropped with the blast off in. Oh, They've saved the park. Squadic survives. Oh, on the edge of oh, his seat, though. That, Thank you, Techies. That was really, really cool. Look close, at Lil. But... Look at Lil. Hello. Oh, Hello. Sneaky. Oh, he gets him. And, and Squadix is like, they've got a. Now, Kiritich has Radiance queued up, and over the past week or so, I've seen... Oh, hang on a second. Storm's in on the Bounty Hunter. Boundless Strike and the Primal Spring. Back in onto the Storm with the heal. The Life Drain. Oh, it was close, but not enough to keep him alive. And now the charge forward with the tracks going. Noticed. Kind of wanted to dive there. It's good against the Bash Rider when he's going to have Blink later on, and it's great against TA. Get some evasion and mischance uh, mid. You know, look for a catch, coil. Yeah, another coil in that mid lane as Hydra play aggressively on the tier 1 again. Squad X! Oh, 10 HP from the Fade Bolt, but this time Hydra are punished. Storm zips in for the tower kill, and FNG might be next on the menu. But a stun from Notice, and FNG with his heels out of the wand, and the purifying flames look... Notice keeps tabs on everybody. All the dust. Well, thanks to the stolen illusory orb. Tanky bounty though, 1200 HP, 11 armor with the Vanguard to block out some damage. So unlikely he would have died there anyway. And it gives a chance now for VP to maybe make a move forward onto this Lil Rubik. Witchblade and an orb, the jump from the storm, looking at FNG's Oracle, a lot of damage and the blast off comes a second too late. But with the proxy mines there, they'll blow up the storm. Well worth the trade from FNG as Kami shows up makes his appearance on this ta slices sayush down so a two for one trade in the end a way for them to keep forcing the fight mid and not have to worry about engaging monkey whereas if they take the fight stop oh they might be forced to and storm is in silenced up needs the life drain to heal him back monkey king with the wukong's command a bit of control and the damage from the oracle Blast the storm down while Kiritich getting his life drained, even inside his Wukong's command. Well, oh, they've got the false promise there, and Kami getting turned on. Has no one to save him. The TA in trouble, blown up as the lasso comes now to drag back Squadix. FNG on the retreat. Oracle looks like he's going to be falling here to Cloud and Lil. But VP got what they came for. Kill the TA, kill the storm. The trade in the end gives a double kill to the Batrider. That Pat tried a nice clean up there, but he arrived. Works out there with his mana pool. Five oh. seconds rune. I see who gets it. No chest waiting at that bottom rune spot. Fortune's end thrown on him. Invis and runs forward to catch out the Rubik. Storm back in, but coiled up now. And with the sticky bombs thrown at him. Oh, the life drain again, topping him up. So Warwick should be able to outlast the coil and zip away. Notice Bounty Hunter. Pesky as always, though. Very tanky and frontlining for his team. As FNG goes for a D ward, but will pay with his life for it. Lassoed up. And Storm needs to offer a little bit more damage here. Oh, is FNG <laughs> going to be allowed to escape from this? Surely not. He's alive for so TA long. <laughs> comes back in to clean up at long last. And maybe notice has overstepped. Save your buddy syndrome in full effect there. Trying to keep his captain alive, but dies in the end. Um, we see Fate's Edict and how well you can just run away. Gan is there. I know that scan, something's read. going on. Noticed under a sentry ward now, but Squadex makes the first move straight on the Rubik. Blow him up with a blast off. 
turn around from the storm and TA though. Killing off Seyush Techies. Chase forward, but with the Wukongs, the Boundless, Storm Spirit has stepped too far forward. And Kami's got to get out of these statues. Can't play inside the Wukong's command. Go to Flame Break, pushes Kiritic down and around. Will try the TP. There's no lasso, there's no stuns coming, in fact. So he's away scot free. Puck and Techies for a Storm and a Rubik. But FNG is going to be the cherry on top. The bonus kill with that TA blast damage out of the Meld Strike kills him off. That was a very good fight for them. And we can see the Batrider is so strong in these fights. He just ran down the puck after the initiation came. How much damage TA can do? Yeah, against a hero like Oracle as well, who has like no armor, it's very easy for him to just burst him, even keeping full HP. Mid. Good catch for VP. This is what they needed. Work is not having a great game here. That's the one thing that's kind of... You always have Pugna to heal you up. They're going bottom yep. now. Looking very, for a fight. Very quick move onto the pug. Lasso into the vortex. Chain disabled, controlled up, and it looks like the tanky is going to be following him into the grave as well. It's very clean right now from Hydra. These rotations are good. Really quick, aggressive play. I like that uh, Lila give me mana again. I need to <laughs> jump again. Petrol station. Any attendance? Oh, Lil. Gets a bit of vision on FNG. The Wukongs from Monkey King cancelled out as he's lassoed up. And in jumps Tankies with Notice, trying to fight into Cloud. Only losing the Oracle for now. Warwick zips over the Wukongs, which has now been stolen by Lil. I was wondering what the lag spike was. It's the Rubik statues causing some problems. The Terracotta armies of Lil and Kiratich not going to fight each other. He's going to be Storm jumping the puck. Glimmer caped up. The Melt Strike going to be jaunted and dodged away. VP retreating as noticed, getting sliced by these side blade attacks, and just a one-man coil. Only catching the Templar Assassin leaves Sayosh in an awful spot. Techies down, and Hydra, you've been saying, very clean, decisive gameplay. Another team fight victory and another objective grabbed up by them. Yeah, I think they can just back up and keep farming the Ancients here, take this area, been able to force more fights around Bounty Hunter's Crimson Pipe. They're gonna try now. They need to get value from Bounty Hunter and non-stop fighting. Man, they jump the bat. Cloud does have a BKB to play with inside the Wukongs. Lasso's the Pug. And VP struggling to find the line they need. They'll kill off Lil on a good two-man coil. Going to snap on the TA. Cloud not really in fighting shape anymore. Decrept and runs away as Lil buys back to look to continue this fight. A zip in from the Storm. Sees the Bounty Hunter. Drags him back. He's healed back up with his magic stick. Crimson and Pipe already used. But he's fine, yeah, with the Taser and the Oracle heals. But a distance for him. Yeah, you see Storm and TA try to finish him off there, but they keep getting disarmed every single attack they do. Oh, oh, oh FNG. No, you, you can't frontline as an Oracle. That's not where you want to be. Cloud taking a lot of damage from the Monkey and the Puck, though. But a tanky Batrider, Ogre Seal Totem flops away while the Storm was stabbing into the back lines, forcing Oracle to buy back. VP just can't catch a break in these fights. There's so many ways to disengage, re-engage, heal back up for Hydra. Racks are already falling. And range barracks dead. Melee being worked on. They see the Pugna, Squadix jumps in with a silence. Bound to strike on the Rubik. Wukong's is out, but Lil will force staff away. Still gonna fall here as Notice makes his play in towards the Rubik. Kills him off inside that green Wukong's. Kami stands strong though. The TA holding back the remaining four heroes of VP. While Hydra... Actually, see Seyush. Techies immediately lassoed. And Kami's there with a physical burst to bring the Techies down. Pops the Greaves, heals up a little bit. But in the end, he needs a crispy end inside that Firefly. The pair just not really swinging for any moves. They're still here. That was here for the bottom push. How do you solve just TA hitting your base? What do you do? Uh, yeah, I don't know if there's an answer for that. They'll try Blast off, but Kami quick with a BKB. And in the back, the Puck Vortex up. Chain Control gets off the phase shift and might be able to jump away. Squadix, the fourth promise is on him and a ton of heals coming in, but Puck is surrounded. Five heroes lassoed up, killed off as the TA goes a diving in towards the Monkey King, who's forced to Wukong's command by his final barracks. Kiritich spending BKB as well, but Hydra coming out of this unscathed almost. Everybody's full health. They didn't lose anybody. A double buyback from VP. Of course, Bounty spent his earlier, just allowing Storm to zip in deeper. Tier 4 is a no safe haven for Virtus Pro as they'll lose absolutely everybody. And Hydra, the Storm of Spirit, barely surviving. They don't lose a single soul and force out the good game from Noticed. Well, there we see what Hydra could do when they didn't 
falls super far behind in laning stage against VP here in game two. In the first game, they